Lucy here from Real Life Medicine with an episode of Keto in the Craft Room. As you know, I used to call it Keto in the Car and I still do, but I'm often not in the car at 0800 or in this case 0810. Today's little vignette is about, uh, see my um, little, uh, what do you call those things? Um, affirmations. So in the middle affirmation, my body is not a bin. What's that all about? Well, it's so interesting because honestly, some of our roadblocks with long-term sustainable weight loss go right back to really deep-seated beliefs. Now, some of these beliefs are like from when we're a child. Now, and, and this one you will all relate to because I grew up with it. I'm sure you did. We often just still perpetuating it and that is eat everything on your plate there are children starving in africa eat everything on your plate there are people starving in india these were the terms that i grew up with so you know consequently you ate everything on the plate the other thing was don't waste food of course not why would we be wasting food so what ends up happening is that we eat it so we don't waste it because, you know, that is a really deep, deep, deep-seated belief. Now, the problem with that, of course, is that it means that we're often eating when we're no longer hungry or we're eating so that we don't waste it because that's like a sin, wasting food. Oh, good morning, darlings. I can see Susan and Lisa. Hi, lovelies. So this came about, now, how interesting is this, right? So uh, Dr. Mary and I were talking yesterday. We talk most days. Again, she's like my buddy, my accountability buddy for all things in life. And we're in the middle of uh, producing our newest course that hopefully will, well, not hopefully, will be out in October. Hi, Kat. How are you? And um, the course is emotional eating. We haven't come up with the title yet. It, it involves sort of emotional eating, it's sugar addiction, etc. And one of the modalities is tapping. So for those of you who don't know EFT, emotional freedom technique, there's a, it's a specific technique that you can use to help with all sorts of things. But uh, anxiety, um, uh, even low mood, those sorts of things is one arm. But the other arm is cravings. So anyway, I was talking to her about how every night I'm having my little I'm having a little battle with berries and cream at the moment. Now I know that berries and cream are obviously okay on the low carb slash keto diet. They're on our list. My problem is I want them every night. And I actually want quite a big bowl. And that's not serving me well. It's not helping me. I need to let it go. I've had a few goes at letting it go. And it, it continues to return. So I thought, right, I'm going to tap on it. So I was telling Mary, part of tapping on a food is that you um, you actually have the food that I'm looking down here, so it's there. You have the food that you want to tap on, you actually have it. So I was telling her, right, I'm going to tap on berries and cream and I'm going to have a bowl and have the berries and cream and I'm going to do all the tapping techniques and then I'm going to... And then, I'm, and then I'm going to throw it out. And her, her eyes stood out. She goes, throw it out? It's like, yeah. She goes, oh, that's such a waste. It was out of her mouth before she even said it. And so we talked about it. And I said, oh, isn't that interesting? Out of your mouth before you've even thought about it. Because again, even though we have that affirmation at the back, my body is not the bin, and we spend all this time talking about it, it still pops up. Um, you know, guilt about not eating food or guilt about supposedly wasting food. Now, I'm going to tell you this, that it is not wasting food. If you are not hungry, your body is saying to you, right, I've got enough fuel. I'm right. You know, your woodshed is open. You are burning your own logs. But then if you eat so that you don't put it in the bin, well, basically, you're putting logs back into your shed. It's sort of stupid, isn't it? Like I know, you know, logically, but it's all to do with those very, very 
deep-seated beliefs that occur in childhood. These deep-seated beliefs are amazingly complicated and complex and really do, uh, I guess, tell, our, tell the story in our adult life. And I used to be one of those people that used to think with psychotherapy, oh, you know, I don't want to hear about your childhood and all that. Let's just deal with the here and now and we'll give you strategies to deal with the here and now. Yeah, it doesn't actually work. You do often have to unpack what is deep, deeply set in the um, in your subconscious and your conscious mind and then actually unpack that, not just put a Band-Aid on it. So... Um, Susan Tapping, you are in for a treat. We are doing in our membership, uh, Taptober. We will be talking all about tapping as our October challenge. So you will get a first hand um, coaching experience with that. So I'm not going to ramble on too much more, uh, peeps, except to say, have a think about your deep seated beliefs on food and wastage work out ways that you can counteract it. One of my favorite ways now, and I know it's obvious, but we don't do the obvious sometimes, is that with my meal, and I'm holding my hand up here, then um, I will now use little bowls. I've got rid of all the big bowls in our house, and I just use a little bowl, and I'll put the little bowl. The caveat in my mind is if I'm still hungry, I can go and get more. The thing that often happens is one, I'm full, two, I can't be bothered. So if you can't be bothered to get more, well, then you're full. And it satisfies my thing of food wastage. Some people satisfy their thing of food wastage by feeding the dog. Well, the problem is that half of our dogs are now overweight or obese. I have chickens, that helps. But at the ultimate end of the day is my body is not the bin. So if I'm full, I don't need to eat it just to stop food wastage. Um, for those of you who are wondering, we, oh, I just did a little whoopee thing on Facebook. Um, we do have a membership, okay? I know that lots of you girls are in the membership already. Uh, and the topics that we explore are more than just food. This is why losing permanent weight is more than just a two week meal plan. There's a whole heap of stuff to unpack and there's always something that you can learn. So some of the topics we've covered are we've talked about getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. So that's an emotional eating thing. This month's awesome August, which is all about reprogramming our brain to put ourselves at the top of the list. Next month, House of Serenity, which is all about a meditation challenge. And then, as I mentioned, Taptober. These are the sort of topics we talk about. If that piques your interest, you can have a look on our webpage. It's RL Medicine. So real life medicine, but somebody else stole that domain. So it's rlmedicine.com. Have a look there and you can, you know, go through all our options. My lovelies, I'm off to the cardiology clinic this morning. So um, I want you to keep thinking, my body is not the bin. My body is not the bin. Keep that front of mind. That's this week's challenge. All right, sweets. See you soon. Bye, darlings.